Hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. My name is Brooke Sidney and I'm teaching all on mindset and manifestation so that you can make miracles manifest. All we have to do is reprogram our brains so that we can make conscious choices about the things that we want and hope for our lives. So today I'm talking all about why we don't have to ignore our emotions, but we want to do this one thing instead. So I'm excited to really talk about this topic because it will help you propel your manifestation skills forward. But before we do that, I want to let you know there are two ways to work with me. Both of those are available below, as well as some groups that help you connect with other like-minded souls who are on this manifestation journey. And today's topic is so important. I am so excited about it. I jump, let's jump into it. I even have notes because I want to make sure that I really convey to you how we can work with our emotions to help us manifest actually. So let's talk about emotions, especially emotions that are arising from our manifestations. And so usually we get emotional or triggered because we are responding to something that's happening in the 3D, something that's happening into our reality. So maybe you're trying to manifest an SP and you're not getting any contact, you're still blocked, you still haven't received a text or an apology or whatever it is, or even a new relationship, there's been no movement, no um, advances or invitations for dates. Um, or maybe it's something completely different. Maybe it's in the financial world where you want more money and your bank account hasn't changed. You haven't got a new job or opportunity. And as a result of you checking the 3D or reality, you're having all of these emotions come up. So I really want you to make the connection between looking at the 3D for your manifestation to be here and it not being here and then you becoming emotionally triggered by it, right? And so that's why I want to say, um, notice obviously that you're having these emotions, but the first thing that we want to do, which is the thing I want you to do instead is to start to ignore the 3d, ignore the 3d when you are in the manifestation process. I have videos on ignoring the 3d. I will, you know, link those to this show, but I want you to really start thinking about the 3D as the past, right? The 3D is not the point of creation. Your 4D, your imagination, the kingdom within, that is where we create from as conscious, intentional manifestors, as those of us that are creating our natural assumption and our dominant state of being as our way to manifest. And so whatever you're seeing on the outside in the 3D is the past. It is an old creation. It is your old views, your old points of, you know, manifestation. It is not the new. And so you have to, you know, a lot of people say delusional. And I've said that before as well. You can be delusional, but also start thinking about it as the past. Your 3D is your past dominant states or natural assumptions, and you're in the process of changing those. So logically, know that, know that difference, and then give yourself some grace. The other things that I think it's important, now that you know you need to ignore the 3D, is let's think of how we can use our emotions. And we can use our emotions to give us an idea of what we truly believe, again, and what our natural assumptions are, or our dominant state of being has been up to this point. And so usually if you've made a decision to manifest something else or something new, again, those are old thoughts, but it's good to be aware of. Oftentimes when I see something that is not pleasing to me in the 3D, I've learned to start saying, thank you for showing me the new thoughts that I am now going to create, right? Thank you for showing me my old opposing thoughts. Now I'm going to create something new. Thank you so much, right? After you get over the shock and have your moment soothe, as I've talked about in other videos, you know, take the moment. If you're going to pay attention to it, register it, but then take some action. And that action is deciding to, you know what I mean? Use those emotions as information, as thank you. Thank you so much for letting me know that this is something that I want to change. And then the third thing that we want to do is we want to take those emotions and create that new reality, that new wish fulfilled, that new story, that new script, those new imaginal acts or visualizations, those new affirmations. Take those emotions that you've been triggered by the 
3D the reality and use it to be like the force and the passion behind creating something new. So take whatever's coming up for you, whether it's the person that isn't contacting you back and start creating the new story and a new visualization where you see that person contacting you back. You see that person sending you loving messages. You see that person wanting to be in contact with you. Or in the case of money, you say, wow, I'm so upset. There's no money in my bank account. I haven't had any new job offers. So instead of allowing yourself to like get completely thrown off track, use those same emotions to say, guess what? That was the past. Now I'm building a new reality, a new dominant story, a new way of thinking, a new way of being. I just talked about stories in a recent video. So check out that, how to drop the old story. It's essentially the same thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to say to yourself, and you guys, I always close my eyes. You're going to say to yourself, oh my goodness, I'm going to paint a new story. I'm going to create a new picture. I'm going to see myself having the money coming into my bank account, being able to use my debit card, my credit card, having the money continue to flowing in, having the new job offer, seeing that beautiful email inviting me to interview for this new opportunity, seeing this new client coming in. However you get streams of income coming into you, you start seeing and feeling as real that energy. You're going to take and convert those same triggering emotions into beautiful passionate emotions that channels you forward that allows you to create a new reality that allows you then to create a new self-concept of the person who has the love that they want has um, continuous contact or has the money in account has the new job has the new clients use those emotions to propel yourself forward into creating your new dominant state of being. And in the meantime, ignore the 3D. I know this has been helpful. This has been a pivotal lesson for me. I'd love for you to let me know how this um, resonates with you. Drop your comments below. Make sure if you haven't subscribed that you subscribed, like this video, and I will see you tomorrow.